Welcome to Tackle Trading. This is Coach G with another Think or Swim trick. We're going to use this setup here on UNP because this is one of our scouting report picks where we're doing a debit condor, a strategy in which you play both movements of up and down of a stock. And the reason we picked this real quickly is because earnings is coming up here in a few weeks, just after January expiration. And we expect volatility to start picking up from here. Not sure which way the stock's gonna go, so we're gonna do a debit condor. Again, this is on our scouting report for January 3rd weekly scouting report. So this is very simple. What I'm gonna do to set up a debit condor is when I go to the option chain, you're gonna notice it has weeklies. On debit condors, we go about two to three weeks out. Since earnings is a few weeks out, I'm gonna go to Jan 420. And you'll notice that the strikes are one point away. I don't like doing one point spreads, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change this to vertical. And you'll notice it's right, they put it to one point spreads there. That's default. I'm gonna go about two or three strikes apart. So all you do is go repeat how that works. In the drop down menu of your layout, go to deep and wide. I'm gonna go three strike spread. When I hit three strike, one month, three strike vertical, you'll notice it's now three points between the spreads. 112 by 115, 113 by 116, what have you. Now I change this over here to the mark. Why? Because I wanna know what the middle of the bid ask is. That's the best price you can get right there. For example, on this 114 by 117, it's 64 by 99. So you can sell it for 64 cents or buy it for 99 cents. That's if you went market. But the middle of that bid ask is 81 and a half cents. <clears throat> so which one am I gonna do? Well, the rules that I use on the debit condor are right here. On a three point spread, why three points? Because I don't like doing one point. So I'll go two or three. The max profit on a three point spread is $300. I do not wanna spend more than 40% of that in cost or debits. So I can still double my money. So if I spend 40% of the 300, I can still make 60%, which is more than double. So I will spend about a fifth or 20% on each side of the debit condor. So 20% on the call spread, 20% on the put spread, one fifth or 20% of $3 means I don't wanna spend more than 60 cents per side. So I'll spend 60 cents or less on the call spread and 60 cents or less on the put spread. So let me go back to trade here. Which one will cost me on the put side 60 cents or less? That's 98. That's 81, 69, there we go, 59 cents. That's just below 60 cents. So that's the one I wanna buy on the put spread. On the call side, which one's below 60 cents? $1.10, 180, there's 89, 76. There's one under 60 cents right there. So I'm buying the 123, 126 on the call side, and I'm buying 115 by 112 on the put side. Now to enter this, I left click on the ask. That brings up my put spread there. Now a little trick here. I'm gonna minimize this so you can see the call side. I also wanna buy the call side. I'm gonna hold the control key down on the keyboard. After I hold the control key down, I left click on the ask and it adds it. I'm gonna do about six contracts. You want to adjust this for your risk level. I'm just doing six for an example. So notice both spreads, the call spread and the put spread, are less than $1.20. I'm going to do a limit order. I do not want to spend more than $1.20, so I will actually raise this up to about $1.20. And since it trades in pennies, I'll give it a little bit of room. I'll go $1.22. Most likely with think or swim, I might get filled here or better. This will be placed at the open on Monday. I confirm and send. 
buy six iron condors UNP. That's the January 123 by 126 call spread by the 115, 112 put spread. I'm gonna send that in. And now I have a debit condor waiting to be filled. If I wanna see what that looks like on the risk graph, I click that one. Analyze trade. And if I wanna see what the call spread looks like, I click that one. Analyze trade. There's your debit condor. You'll notice from here to here is 40%. That's my risk. The reward side, that's 60%. So I can make a map. This has been the Debicon, otherwise known as the Debit Iron Condor. Good luck on practicing your debit condors. This is Coach G with Tackle Trading. Catch you next time.